What's happening, hoodlum gang? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy, Hoodie from the Hood, a.k.a. your friend from that big O-N. And I got a very special guest. Yes, sir. Um, this person is a San Diego legend, as you can see on the sweater. Um, a Spring Valley legend. And I like to say a Southeast legend because I consider Spring Valley an extension of Southeast San Diego. So, without further ado, Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people. Aye, aye. Ryan Anthony, Spring Valley Ryan, San Diego anthem maker. Definitely. Yeah, San Diego is on. <laughs> Definitely, homie. Yeah. Man, hey, it's a pleasure to have you on the platform, homie. Nah, yeah, hell, it. hell you've been, it. You've been doing your thing for a long time. Um, I've been supporting it. Uh, when it comes to them anthems, like you said, man, I can't nobody do it like you. As a matter of fact, I was just talking to the homie earlier. He got another little anthem for you to get okay. on. Remember, I told you. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so let's go ahead, man. Let's 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 start from the beginning, man. Where was you born and raised at? Born born in San Diego. Uh, born in 1990. I was born at uh, at Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Going over there off the A. <clears throat> right. But uh, yeah, San Diego. Born and raised. Parents been in uh, Spring Valley since since '88, so I was born in '90. So I, I've been in Spring Valley my whole whole childhood. So, so where did your parents come from? So they was uh, so my pops actually from Chicago, and my mom she from uh, my grandfather. He, he he's in the military and shit, so she bounced around a lot. But when they got to Dago, they was in like National City. I want to say like National City, Chula Vista, right down that way. And then my mom she in education. She got a job, I want to say, at Freeze, right there behind Skyline Park. Right. So that's what I got the. That's what I got the spot over this way in, in, in the valley. Right, right, right. So you yeah. off the porch right here in the valley. Yeah. Valley. In the uh, valley. What, what what school did you attend? I went to. So I went to elementary school. I went to Bethune. That's going down Paradise Valley Road. Hit the right on Woodman. It's like right down the street from Morris. So it's like borderline skyline, borderline paradise hills. And then I went to O'Farrell. I remember my cousin went to Bethune. Shout out Baby Young Glow, free yeah. Baby Young Glow. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about when he used to say <laughs> Bethune. I was like, what the, what the fuck is uh, that? Yeah, hell So I went to Bethune. Was that it a was, bad school? Because nah, that nigga it was, was it bad. It was predominantly, at, at the time, at the time it was predominantly uh, Filipino. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was predominantly Filipino because Paradise Hills, you know what I'm saying? Paradise Hills is got, got, got a big Filipino population. Right. So it's like Filipino and, and a little bit of black people too. And then uh, more, uh, not more, uh, O'Farrell is a, uh, the middle school right up the street. So right. I went to O'Farrell Middle School, went there six to eight. It, it was more blacks at O'Farrell. Yeah, 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 yeah hell of yeah. O'Farrell Middle and then uh, and then I went to Mount McGill. I, w I wanted to go to Morris, but uh, my parents, they right on the borderline, skyline, and Spring Valley. Right. So it was like when, when it was like hella people trying to go to Morris at the time. So I was like on a little waiting list because right. like, we was out of the district. Right. So that's why I ended up having to go to, uh, Mount, to McGill. Mount McGill. All right, but what's crazy though, I did technically, I did go to Morris. At, uh, at O'Farrell, I was hella good at math, right? Right. So in, uh, in seventh grade, I was taking eighth grade math. So in eighth grade, for first period, I would go to Morris and take a math, take geometry. I take geometry at Morris. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know they did that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they still do it, but they was doing it at the time. It was like four or five of us from from O'Farrell would go to uh, Morris in the morning time, take a math class at, 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 at geometry, and then uh, and then we, we we slide back to O'Farrell for the rest of the day. So. So I was tripping too. I was like, "How the hell, nigga? I already got Morris credits. How right. I can't go to right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I can't like, go to you Morris. Live over here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. It's like you got a balance, nigga. <laughs> right. So, can you explain coming up in Spring Valley, like what was going on in this part of town? Um, I know there's a few gangs, really a Hispanic gang. Yeah, yeah. But there was always still a lot of black people over on this yeah, yeah. In, in, in the valley yeah. from, from everywhere but yeah. predominantly probably like skyline yeah yeah so, it was a so lot how was it like growing up over here so like i said so i went to i went to elementary school and and middle school pretty much in skyline so to be to keep it a hundred 
when I when I went to Mount Miguel, I didn't know nobody. Cause everybody from Mount Miguel went to like uh La Presha out here. Right. Went to like Rancho, went to all the neighborhood schools out here. The only people I really knew is when I because we I play for the rec. I play for Spring Valley Rec. Yeah, I play for Skyline too. But the only people I really knew um was from like rec ball. There right. was only like four or five people that I really knew. Right. Because everybody I was I was on the other side. I was on the other side. I was I was on, on the skyline side. Right. But when I did start going to Mount McGill, it was I mean Spring Valley and Skyline and Lomita, it's all like it's intertwined. It's all intertwined. So yeah. it's a it's a lot of skyline niggas right. that that's you know what I'm saying in the valley. And right, niggas right, was right, living right. in the valley. They might not claim that shit. Yeah. But come yeah. on, niggas. <laughs> Y'all yeah, yeah, niggas yeah. was with me in the yeah, valley. Yeah, niggas. exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, Cause it just it just get tricky. Right. It just get tricky right even, here. Even Lemon Grove is intertwined. I think yeah, they gotta yeah, go to Mount yeah, Miguel. Hella. They don't have no high school. Hella, yeah, they go to Mount Miguel. And cause it's like, it, it's Cardiff. So it's Skyline Drive. You gotta hit the left, it turn into Cardiff, and then it turn into Skyline Drive again right. in, in Lemon Grove. Right, So it's which like, is weird. That's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's a, you know the, the borderline get tricky and niggas get niggas get picky about that shit but right <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> niggas get picky about right. the borders you know what i'm saying but so um I, my bad i slipped up you got any siblings yeah i got two other sisters oh okay yeah two other siblings. so you're the only boy yeah so yeah. you was really the one running the streets yeah right. <laughs> yeah hell yeah, so hell yeah. being in the valley um where are we located right now specifically? Spring Valley Park. Spring Valley it's, Park. Yeah, Spring Valley Park. So would you say that this was more so your side of the valley or was you in the whole valley? You nah, was... so like the 125 kind of like, so like when you a little nigga on bikes and scooters and shit, we was mobbing down this way, mainly mainly like going right here to the um to, to the, the swap meet. Me. Yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But mainly when we on bikes and scooters, the, so the neighborhood park closest to my house is, is Skyline Park. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the 125 blocked off. It didn't block off, but it uh, split it up. You know what I'm saying? Divided. Yeah, it like it, yeah, it like split it up. Right. Because you got like you got Foster Freeze on that side, El Kelton, Foster Freeze, and then up the hill right there is Lomita on Cardiff, and then Skyline Park right there. Right. So that was like the area I was in. I was so in. you was in between. Yeah, yeah. Skyline Park and this park. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you you you. You a Skyline Spring I'm, Valley nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you, you both of them. Right, yeah, but I, I just, I go, I just, I just say Spring Valley though. Because mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because technically, you know what I'm saying? Mom's house is in Spring Valley. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where I feel like where you rest your head at. Right. That's your section. You know what I'm saying? And and I feel like uh, as far as like the rap shit too, it make it a lot easier. Being a Spring Valley nigga, right? Well, I was like, I'm a Skyline nigga. I'ma tell you something, man. You, you, you put that motherfucker on the map, yeah, for sure, for sure. Nah, yeah, hell it. Like, nigga, that, that, that uh, inspires somebody else being younger to be proud to yeah. just push that and instead nah, of saying yeah. he from a different yeah. section. Yeah, and I respect it. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, even, hard. even, even the homies that be pushing Lemon Grove and all that. Yeah. I respect that, yeah. homie. Nah, yeah. That was one thing that caught my. He repping his section yeah, like a I'm motherfucker. A, I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna go hard for the section, man. Right. You know what I mean, Spring Valley rec legend, man. Right. <laughs> so, you you never went up to Monta Vista or nothing? Nah, not really. That's the other side of the valley. Right. You know so, what I'm so, when you ain't so, got no motion, like yeah, I said, yeah, when you ain't yeah, got no yeah, motion, you just a little nigga on, on bikes and scooters. Yeah. So look, if if I hopped on the on a on a on a bus though, I was going that way, mm. or we was going to Plaza Bonita, or we was going. Right. Way out to Parkway Plaza or Mission Valley or something. Nigga so wasn't like, going we, to the other we side. Going, of the valley. We wasn't going to the other side of the valley. So there was no no Bancroft and Kenwood for you, no Castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I be on Kenwood a little bit, uh, but that was until I was probably in high school and shit. So like grade school, like middle and uh, elementary school and shit, I was real section to just right here. But then you know what I'm saying, niggas. The homies got cars and shit, then you start going to like, right. you know what I'm saying, Kenwood, Bancroft, all that type of shit. Right. But yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. So, um, I would say, at what, you was born in 90. Yeah. So, at what, at what age did you, like, find a passion for music? And I ain't even talking about you making music, just yeah. in general, being intrigued by it. My parents always had me in, in, in music lessons. 
My parents was real, they was real adamant about you, you, you can't be in the house. <laughs> you gotta be outside. Then you can't sit in the house all day. You gotta find something to do, get on your bikes, get on, find a sport, find an instrument, something, but you gotta right. be outside. Right. So my parents put me in, uh, like, I took like piano lessons. I took guitar, I didn't like that shit though. I didn't last in that shit. Um, actually, at uh, when I was going to Bethune, the homie, we we it was mandatory we had to take band. That's how it was for me at Oak Park. Yeah, so it was mandatory we took band. It was like fifth grade, and me uh, the homie was like it was a bet. He was like, hey, I bet you to uh, play the flute. <laughs> I was like, I was like that's a corny ass instrument, nigga. I was like if you do it, I'm gonna do it too though. So we just on some dumb shit. Right. But we ended up playing the flute and shit like <laughs> just on some goofy shit. Hey man, that happened to me at Oak Park Elementary. I got there the second semester of fourth grade. Yeah. Everything was already taken up, so I had to, they put me in choir. Okay. That was yeah. the only thing left. Yeah. So fifth grade, I get to pick. I yeah. pick guitar okay. because two of the closest homies I was cool with was in guitar already the year right. before, so I yeah. picked that. Yeah. But yeah, some of them schools they force you to do yeah. something, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Um. Back to you saying your parents was like your mom saying you can't be in the house no nah. do you think sometimes that forces people into the street life because they had to be outside and if so why did you stay away from the street life yeah i mean it do it do i mean I'm, to a certain extent because if you in the street you in the street but yeah, it's more i meant the gang life yeah i mean i mean it do you know what i'm saying but i feel like i feel like it got to do it with, with Yo, upbringing too and shit and like, I know and nigga, I get my ass whooped, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. And and I was never like, I was never like the super tough nigga. Like I'm not trying to be out here fighting niggas every day and right. shit. Like you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I was never that nigga. So it's like I, I was, I was always the cool nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now I feel what you're saying as far as getting your ass whooped, but yeah. sometimes. It's a gravitational yeah. pull. The streets no, yeah. got a hold on you to where it's yeah. like, no matter what the consequences is at home, yeah. I'm doing this. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah, hell it. And, 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 you know what I'm saying, it's it's really inevitable, too, with being young and black in certain neighborhoods and shit. It's like, you're going to have to deal with it, even if you banging or not. You know what I'm saying? Because right, right, it's like, right. niggas been in all type of, like, little scuffles and shit here right, and there. Niggas right. not even banging, but... I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch though. Yeah, it come with your friends, exactly. Yeah, it come with your friends and shit too. So it's like niggas is gonna press you, but at the same time, it's like nigga, okay, nigga, like, all right, but I ain't no bitch though. Right, right, you right, right. Me? And I'm it's gonna like, tell you something. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you standing up for yourself as a right. man and saying that. But when you young and you a hothead and you looking for something, yeah. that'll set a nigga off. Like, what you yeah. mean? You ain't no bitch. You trying to be hard? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see niggas get whooped yeah. like that. And that's, yeah. looking back on it, that's foul. Yeah. But as a kid, in your kid mind, right. you just, you ready to get active. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then you look back on it like, damn, he ain't even do nothing wrong but stand right. up for himself. I, yeah. Nigga could have befriended him right. instead of jumping him. Yeah. But that, I mean, it, it just, it just, it's a part of that life, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially because niggas, when you young and shit, you just... Niggas is trying to make a name for themselves. Niggas right. is acting off impulse. Niggas right. is just doing what the older niggas is doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like all all of that plays a all of that plays a part in it. Right. And then here's another part that plays a part. Sometimes we didn't cop niggas and they said they didn't bang, but they really did. Yeah. And then you see yeah. them later and they be big yeah. dissing or yeah. niggas say he don't bang and then they jump the homie later yeah. on. So we already be on edge. Like fuck right. that nigga, where yeah. you from? Not and then any little thing. It'd be like that too. It's like, cause you know what I'm saying? Niggas would be like, oh, where you from and shit? I'd be like, I'm not banging. I'd be like, I'm from Spring Valley. I'm not, I wasn't banging though. I'd be like, oh yeah, but you look like, you know what I'm saying? Right. You dress like, right, cause right, at right. that time, 05, 06, yeah. this area was the tall tees, the big earrings, the, the double the edge ups, socks. the scrunchy yeah, socks, yeah, the yeah. girls and shit. <laughs> yeah. So if you out of this area, or if you in this area and somebody see you, you a East nigga. Right. If you on the, if you on the orange line, you a East nigga. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, know you coming anywhere this way? Yeah, yeah. For you sure, a East sure. nigga. You look like an East nigga. Nah, you. Yeah. Yeah. We, we on you. Nigga. You getting off at Encanto, Lemon Grove, Massachusetts, yeah. Spring Valley. Yeah. Nigga, I mean, uh, Spring Street. Yeah. Nigga, that's where you from. That's yeah. how we viewed it back in the days. Right. You yeah. got off at Euclid. You was from right there. Yeah. Uh, 25th. 
thirty second, forty seventh was us. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's very unfortunate, but that's just how it goes I mean, it in the just, streets. It, it just is what it is. So that's so for for the music side, I always try to represent the nigga that was he was around it, he saw it, right. tried to avoid it, tried to avoid the conflict, but still had to maneuver through right. it. It still it still came in. Yeah, it's you still gotta maneuver through it. You a regular nigga in certain you know what I'm saying, certain right. situations and you you know what I'm saying, you gotta still stand on your ten. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Most definitely. Yeah. Um, so, around what age did you feel like you started writing raps or, you know uh, what I mean? Shit, I never wanted to rap though, nigga. I, I, I just wanted to produce. I started making beats. Uh, I started making beats in like middle school. Oh, you I, made beats? Yeah, yeah. I was making beats and shit. Do you still make beats? I made every every song you done heard. That's Ryan Anthony. I made the beat. See, you learn something new every day. Yeah, I yeah. never knew that. I produce all my shit. I record all my shit. I mix all my shit. I don't master. I I, I try to send it to somebody else. You just got a, just a little bit of a different ear to, you know what I'm saying? Put a little touch on it. Right. But as far as all the production, though, I do all that shit. Cause that's how I started. I was just making beats. I didn't want to rap. So I was just making. I was making beats. Uh, and then I got the studio set up The Pro Tools and shit at mom's house So niggas was come over there and record and shit And then shit From there I started I started like Just doing like little reference tracks and shit okay. You know what I mean So I record little reference tracks And then Like shit that's kinda cool It kinda sound You know right, what I'm right, saying right. Now niggas is putting out yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now nigga putting out songs You know what I'm saying As, as yourself and shit Right. So it's like, yeah, so, I, but I, I wouldn't say I started rapping probably till like 19, 20, 19, 20 years old and shit. So what, what was the first song that you put out? And was that the, was that the song that you got a positive feedback from first or, or did that take a while yeah. before you start buzzing? All right, look, damn nigga. All right, look, it's going to take me back. All right, look, the first song, the first song that I was on. That, that really had any type of buzz. It was called Booty Bop. Nigga with the nigga, with, with the nigga Gigi. Look, with Gigi you must know what that is, cause he laughing. <laughs> with Gigi Beastone, nigga. So Gigi, he lived like a, a couple blocks away from my mom's house and shit. And uh, yeah, I, I, we linked up over like MySpace. MySpace was cracking right, at the right, time. Right, and and yeah, MySpace, yeah, yeah. I was putting up beats on, on, on a MySpace music page. So that's really how. All right, real fast, not to cut you off. Yeah. We talking about MySpace. We talking about that 05, 06 era. Yeah. What was going on as far as the San Diego music scene that kind of inspired you to do music? Because I know yeah. the little clicks and crews that was yeah, going was on at clicks. that time. Hella clicks, hella crews. But out and being from this side, nigga, heavy hitting, blacklisted, uh, NBA, the niggas banging orderly. Uh, right. That's like before the stop paying shit started. Right, right, right. Uh, damn, who was that? Like, storm, like Lil Storming. Uh, all that shit was All popular. that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All shit, that we shit. was hearing it on our side. Like, yeah, It was yeah. literally that shit got around the city. Yeah, hell yeah. So all, all of that shit, the uh, Looney Tunes, uh, all the East niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah. Hey, hey. we're going to keep yeah. it clean. <laughs> <laughs> the niggas have some shit. Yeah, they no, had some yeah. shit. Them like, niggas was superstars, bro. And, yeah, and they was they went everywhere. Yeah, they was in East Lake. They was in yeah, wherever yeah. Imperial Beach. They was wherever the parties yeah. was, wherever the bad bitches was. Them niggas yeah. was there, yeah. and they was knocking yeah. them. Was even like, that, even damn. the Parkside park niggas too. Yeah, sideways Beta and and, uh, and Mac and all them niggas too. Yeah, so, the sideways. So it's clear to shit. say that that's where you got your influence from. Yeah, outside music. of yeah, growing yeah. up. Yeah. Like I this. would say that too. But I, I did, I did listen to like, you know what I'm saying? I listened to like Mitchy Slick and shit like that too. Right. Cause right. I remember, right, yeah, right. All, all them niggas, all the, all the legendary niggas. I was, I was still listening to that shit too. Cause I, I'll never forget. It was like, it was 2001 or some shit. And uh, so like my parents was like low key strict on the music and shit. I couldn't even really listen to like rap and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? These niggas would take me to the to the music store because it was music stores back then. Yeah, fam and they had they had they had me looking through the gospel rap. I'm like nigga. <laughs> That'll make a nigga go over yeah, there and steal like, it. Uh, uh, yeah. What the fuck is this? 
but uh, but I would go to like the homie house. The homie lived on uh, on Fifty Fourth and Imperial, uh, right there in them apartments. Grimy. And uh, we would go there after school at, at O'Farrell. We would walk over there, and this nigga had all the all the like dago shit, and he had the uh, the trigger action station shit. Right. The first time I heard that shit, bro, I was like, damn, this shit, this crazy nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, crazy nigga talking about, you know what I'm saying? Nigga talking about this street right yeah. here, nigga, I'm on this shit. And I'm like, you know what's crazy? This crazy. I, 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 um, I got a, it's not a crazy story, but I got a, um, a story about hearing that album for the first time in the yeah. hood with the homies mm -hmm. and how that kind of went. But I kind of want to save that. If yeah. Slick ever come on the yeah, channel, yeah, man, nah, you yeah. know what I mean. Hey, nah, Slick, yeah, no, I, I didn't, I didn't reach out. He know <laughs> yeah. if he come on the channel, I'd rather tell him. No, nah, yeah, ahead. yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, that was, that was the first time I was like 10, 11 years old or some shit like that. I heard the Trigger Action Station for the first time, right. and that was like my, that was like probably my introduction to like Dago rap and shit. So man. that's the first album you heard. I, I want to say, right. I want to say that was like the first one, cause then. But then I was at this around the same time oh, we started going to fan band too to get all the uh, uniform clothes and shit. So that's you know niggas is out there slinging their CDs. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? So that's, that's that was a different era where you could pull up to Fanmore and it's just man. niggas selling CDs man. out there and they had Fanmore was bigger. Fanmore was the Dollar the Tree shit. and the uh, the DDs the, the, DDs, the, DDs, the Dollar yeah, Tree was, was the all Fanmore. That shit was big as fuck. And you knew, like, at any moment going in there, you could run into anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. remember going up there young, like, I'm about to try to get something real fast. And you got to map it out. Like, it's yeah. over there. You ain't trying to uh, walk yeah. deep up in that motherfucker and right. get caught up in there. Yeah. Let me hurry up and get these chucks right here right. by the door. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, they ain't got your size. Now you got to yeah. go over to the other part <laughs> deeper in there. Side. You know what I mean? It was yeah. it was like that nah, back yeah, then. Yeah, bro. Fanmore was the spot, though. You know right. what I'm saying? And, for, for, and it was always lit. Yeah, always. Hello. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas selling CDs, DVDs. Nigga, nigga was selling insurance one time. I went to, <laughs> you know, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You get all, you get everything you needed up at, right. up at Fan Band. Right. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's when I started getting more into like, oh, it's hella niggas from Dago. You know what I'm saying? Right. Rapping and shit. It wasn't just this side. It yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. But that was before, like, that, cause that was like 2001. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. yeah that was like I'm 2001, tripping. and then I gotta say, like, whenever MySpace was start getting cracking and shit, like, right. That that like opened 04, 05 and shit. Yeah, cause then, right. cause then now, now you can even niggas is just putting their shit up on 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 a MySpace music, and, and so I had like all the pages I would just check on like a daily basis, and I'm hearing like all the different songs like. It was a lot of dissing back then though too. Like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of it was a lot of dissing. But that shit was lit though. Right. That shit was lit. That era was lit. It was. You know what I'm saying? It and was. then <laughs> that was a whole different man, time. Yeah, yeah. That shit was hella lit, bro. But yeah, like high school though, we have heavily on the blacklist and shit. Mm -hmm. Heavily on the on the heavy hitting and shit. So yeah. Right. And 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 I think Mac Fly just came out with a uh that nigga, album last year. That nigga's in my top five, bro. Yeah, that, that was yeah. dope. That, that was dope. I listened to it too. You know, when I was young back then, I didn't really listen to them like the homies. Yeah, yeah. And when I mean by the homies, I mean uh, two of the homies who was a part of the YKOs. Mm -hmm. They was big on that back then. I used to be yeah. like, what the fuck y'all listening to? Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't. But yeah. it took for me to get a little older to be like, that nigga was ahead of his time. Yeah, that nigga was ahead you know of his I mean? time, bro. That nigga, that nigga is in, that nigga's in my top five. I tell that nigga all the time, bro. We gonna get to your top five. Yeah, he like Lil Wayne to me, bro. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna get to, we gonna get to your top yeah, five. Backfly is like Lil Wayne to me, nigga. Real all shit. All right, so let's go back to, cause we was talking about the first song that you did that okay, really, yeah. when you yeah, was about yeah, twenty years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the song, the song was with Gigi Beast on. Mm -hmm. So I linked up with that nigga through the MySpace music. And then found out that he lived right around it, right around the corner from where uh, where I was at. He from KOE, and then uh, shit, yeah, we just started doing hella music and shit together. And then the booty bop song, <laughs> nigga, I know that shit sound hella funny. I know that shit sound hella funny, bro. But that shit was that shit was lit though. And then we started getting uh, we started getting performances and shit. Well, he was already performing because he already had a couple songs. He was already. You know what I'm saying? He already had a name and shit in his area. 
So it's like, and then that's around the time when the downtown clubs was going up, like Deco's and, and all yeah. and that whole era. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. So then we be at Deco's performing the booty bop shit. They like, like every every, cause I, I want to say it was like Thursdays. I think Thursdays was like college night. 18 and up college night. Right. So yeah, so we would uh so yeah, that, that was my first uh time like hitting the stage, having a song, you know what I'm saying, being known and shit like that. Oh, they that. already knew the song? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's the song had, had like hella downloads and shit. That was, was a cool. Lit. I remember going there. I remember uh Nipsey came out here 2010. Mm -hmm. I believe 2009, 2010, maybe yeah. the end of 09 yeah. or the end of 2010. He was coming. And I remember he did a show time. with the homie C. Heck. Mm -hmm. I remember that vividly, and it was at Deco's. That was yeah. the one and only time I met Nipsey. Okay. That's when he was. I think Bullets ain't got no name. Was mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the, was it the third one? Yeah. The third one was out. Yeah. You know what I mean? He wasn't even the Nipsey, American. Nipsey yet. Yeah, he was right. Nipsey like that to us. Yeah. Right. In the streets, but he, as far as the industry, they, you know what I mean? Nah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that, that, that little club, that little club scene right there, Deco's, Work That, Work That. All that, yeah. Uh, uh, what else was going on there? Like, on Broadway, on Broadway was more like, it wasn't really geared toward us, though. Yeah. Deco's was like our shit. Right. Deco's and Work That, Work That. That's where, like, the, you know, that's where we was at and shit. Right. So, you did that song. Yeah. Um. When, when is the first song? What is the first song that you did that really took off? Cause now YouTube was around back then, but I always mm -hmm. tell people YouTube wasn't the same YouTube as it is now. Yeah. Like you could get on there and mm -hmm. find shit, whatever. But like YouTube now is mm -hmm. like you could find everything. Back right. then you may or may not. Right. You know what I mean? So, and then especially, especially is uh. Being a person who could create an account and upload your own stuff, mm -hmm. what is the song that you dropped that really start buzzing? Barely see the beach, the the first one. That was that was like 2016, 2016. I dropped the Barely see the beach, and uh, yeah, that was that was like that was the start of this whole wave that that I'm on right now. I was gonna ask you that. I was gonna say, did you already yeah. have the clothing line in mind? Or nope. you just said it and not it was like, all. I should. Not at all. So Barely See the Beast came about because like I, I, like I was telling you, I was living in L.A. I moved to L.A. Uh, like, uh, shit, was it 2012? And I was living in L.A. for a minute, like, like six, seven years and shit. And then when I, I was, the situation I was in out there, I was doing a lot of traveling and shit. So it's like when I would go to different spots and people want to know, everybody want to know where you know what I'm saying, where you from and all this other type of shit. You know, I'd always be like, I'm from, I'm from Dago. <clears throat> I'm from San Diego and shit. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? So it was just a misconception that, you know what I'm saying, we all got beach houses and we all go surfing and shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that's kind of where the concept came from. Cause I'd be like, nah, like, I. I like don't I don't go to the beach really that often. I can't even remember the last time I've been to that motherfucker. I mean, so that but that's what that's you know what's crazy. That's where the barely see the beach came from. You know what's crazy? Because they just as close to the beach. Like right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> South yeah. Central to, to to Venice ain't that yeah, far. It's not. Like it's I don't not. know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I literally the last time I was out there, I pulled up on the homie. He was in Venice. I literally took the streets during traffic time yeah. all the way back to South Central. You can go yeah. all the way down Slauson. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't it's understand. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's that's where the barely see the beach kid shit came from. So I actually made that song while I was still living in LA. But then I, I put it out. I got I, the reason why. <clears throat> the reason why it was so lit though is because I reached out to a bunch of different niggas from San Diego. I was like, hey, I'm trying to do this video and I'm trying to get niggas from each section and shit to, uh, you know what I'm saying, just to be represented in the in, in the shit. So it was like, I reached out, I had Big June on it, Big June in the video, uh, Slick was in the video, C Heck was in the video, um, Boss Hog was in the video. Uh, yeah, just I just got a bunch of different niggas from a, a bunch of different sections and shit. And, uh, 
I just think people from we ain't really seen no shit like that in Dago before having a bunch of different niggas from different sides being at one. I agree. Yeah. When I saw that, I was yeah, like, damn, how did you get all these niggas to come yeah, out yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. That's what stood out to me because I was, I think I went to the pen 2012, got out 2015. Mm -hmm. So by the time you had came out, I didn't know if you had been out or, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, damn, nigga, this nigga got some pool to have all these niggas. Yeah, right. That's what immediately made me tune in right. and start trying to listen to more songs by you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah, the Barely See the Beast, that was the... And then when I put that out and I saw the I saw the response to it, I was like, oh, we out of here. Right. I was like, I'm taking this shit to the motherfucking moon, nigga. <laughs> like right. real shit. And, and ever since then, bro, it's all about it's it's been about representing all the Dago, all right. sections. You know what I'm saying? All all the hoods, all all the all the colors, all the races. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 what that's what this shit is about. Representing all the all the all the inner city Dago. Now I'm glad that you said that. Because is it D A Y G O or is it D A G O? Hey man, <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah, huh? yeah. Hey, you know that's like a yeah. that's like a real debate to this nah, day. Yeah, it's, no, a, it's depending a on who you ask, some motherfucker yeah, yeah. be like, nah, nigga, that's how you spell it, yeah, and yeah. it'll really become an argument. Yeah, yeah. I spell it D A G O. Yeah, yeah. You know what so, I mean? So it's like what I what I what I kind of realized that it is. It's kind of generational, but at the same time, it's kind of sectional too, though. Cause I know East Dago is D A G O. Right. I think I think a lot of gangbangers spell it D A G O. D A G O. Yeah, cause Big June said that too. Yeah. He said, I spell it D A G O without the Y in it. Yeah. A lot. You know a saying? lot of so a, a lot of gangbangers yeah. spell it just like that. So, so yeah, I, I think, don't know. I, I don't know when the Y came about. You know what I'm saying? If right. if, if it was D A G O for so long, I don't know right. who put the Y in that motherfucker. But, Somebody trying to be creative. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The first time, the yeah, whole game up. first time I saw now it, we was, confused. it was D A Y G O. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 always how I spelled it. You said the first time you saw it, it had a Y in it. Yeah, oh, first see? time I saw it, it had a Y in it. Yeah, so I was like, shit, nigga, D A Y G O. But the reason why I made that song is for is, is because of that. There's always this debate. I would see the debate all the time. Like, mm -hmm. oh nah, y'all spelling it? Why y'all spelling it like that? What the fuck? And I would always be like, nigga, it's, it's the same shit. Right. We the same niggas. You know what I'm saying? Right, Regardless right, right. of how that shit is spelled, we the same niggas. It's the same shit. Right, right, right. Yeah, so that's why I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, the unity part. It's like, come on, let's put a song to this shit and, you know what I'm saying? Bring the niggas out. Bring the niggas out. Yeah. Now, I seen, um, it's a channel, a YouTube channel, uh, Split D TV. Did you see he reacted to it? <laughs> Yeah, Shout out to hell. Uncle Spliff, man, out of Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was watching his reactions one day. I was new on the channel. See, yeah. when I get new to something, I just start watching everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm watching and he reacting, reacting, reacting. I think the first person I seen him react to from San Diego was Mr. Shadow. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, nigga, we getting closer. Yeah, right. We getting closer. <laughs> and then I seen you pop yeah. up. Now, I had already seen your video at that time. Right. But... I was like, all right, let me click on this. And yeah. he had a dope, genuine reaction. Nah, yeah. He was like, man, I ain't even from Dago, nigga. I want to yeah, sing that yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, damn, that's a dope look for yeah, the city. Yeah. I think Spliff now got over 100,000 subscribers. Boy, he he didn't at the shit. time. Yeah. But he still had, like, probably, like... Yeah, he was still doing the shit. He, he, had, he, had, he had some motion. Right. You know what I mean? Right, I was yeah, like, that's yeah, dope that right there. Love. I think he did the remix, too. That was hella dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Spliff, man. That was hella love, though. I was. I, I want to say I made that song. I want to say I was still in LA too at that time when I so, made that. So song. you was in LA thinking about home. That's yeah, what it sounded like, huh? Hey, look, cause look, this is what happened. I moved to LA 2012. Got an internship out there. Had a little had a little situation out there, and then the situation just started to like fizzle out and shit around like. So you had a finger. You said what? Yeah. Nah, nah. It was oh. just some work shit. It was some worship because I, I I got all right. Damn, I gotta go into the whole shit now. Hold yeah, on. You do. And what part say, of it's LA a lot. Was you it's in? a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, lot. yeah. Let's get lot. into Hold it. On. Okay, it's a lot. So 2000, into 2011. Uh, I remember we was doing show. We was doing like I was saying. We was doing decos. We was doing the same shows and shit. And I, I just felt like the plateau. I was like, we. I, I'm not finna go no higher. Than these clubs right here that I'm doing right now. 
So at the time, it was like, everybody was like, you gotta go to LA to get on. You gotta go to LA to, you know what I'm saying, spread your shit. This is like, look, social media not even lit like that. So it's like, it's still, it's still hand to hand type shit, low key. It's kind of phasing Paid out. out. Yeah, 2012. You know it's kind of phasing out a little bit. But, um, so I was like, fuck it, all right, I'm about to go to LA. Cause I'm chasing, I'm chasing dreams, nigga. I'm trying to get on. So I, I moved to LA end of 2011 to look for a spot so i'm going i go to a, a couple different uh couple different parts i'm broke you know what i'm saying so it's like i can only afford certain parts of la to live in and shit so they all hood spots majority of them was was mexican hoods that uh that we was looking at and then at the time they was like it was it's always been a little tension in la with black and mexican right so i was like nigga i'm not about to Hell nah, I'm not about to be the only nigga in the Mexican hood, like, I'm right. be out there looking crazy and shit. So it's like, so then... Nigga said, I'm from Dago, not stupid. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So so then there was a spot, uh, we ended up in Baldwin Village. I ended up in, uh, ended up in Baldwin Village. Um, so yeah, so I lived there. I lived in the jungles, bro, for six years. Six years. Now, how was that? It was cool. It wasn't, it wasn't even like... It wasn't crazy or no shit like that. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. Um, only got banged on a few times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, nothing. I yeah, nothing, nothing. But it wasn't like, it wasn't hella crazy, though. It was, it was cool. I, I, I hella liked the area. Right. You know what I'm saying? I hella fucked with it. I would, I would go to the park over there and uh, they had like a big ass like little complex and shit. That's right. on a, so it was like Dorsey. And then there was like this big ass track and, and, and big ass sports complex and shit. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so I, I would go, you know what I'm saying? I would go over there. We'd be at the neighborhood Ralph's, the neighborhood fish pot that was right there on, uh, what was that, La Brea? Did you become a familiar face to motherfuckers? Like, oh, that's old boy from Dago? Uh, kind of a little bit to an extent. I, I'm, I've never been a nigga to be like, to want to be noticed. You know what I'm saying? So I always, you know what I'm saying? I'm always hoodie on. He was getting in and out. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm but always, it worked. Yeah, I'm always put a hoodie on, keep my head low and shit. But it was like, but but the stores and shit, yeah, because we was going to the stores every day and shit, getting food and, and snacks and shit. Right. So it's like, yeah, so we, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But damn, what was, what was I saying? Well, oh, you was talking I about your situation saying. out there. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I ended up... Ended up putting a uh, putting a little lease down for for a year at a it's called what's this shit called Gloria Homes, Gloria Homes Apartments, and right on Martin Luther King Martin Luther King and Rodeo. That shit funny too. First time, remind me to get back on track. But look, first time I was out there, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, who who from Dago in LA? I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get on. I'm trying to get some motion and shit. The only niggas out there was JoJo and, and Yellow. Yellow was doing videos for hella niggas in Compton and shit. So one day he hit me. He was like, hey, uh, meet me in Compton. I'm shooting a video out here. Just come out here and politic and shit. I'm like, all right, for sure. So I slide out to Compton. And that's JoJo. He nah, hit you. Yellow. Oh. Yellow, yellow one. So, uh, so yeah, he hit me and was like, yeah, come out to Compton and shit. So I slide out there, uh, and then I'm in, I'm in the mix and shit, and the niggas is like, who is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'm from Dago, just moved out here, all this other type of shit. And the nigga was like, uh, where'd you move to? I was like, I'm on Rodeo. He was like, Rodeo? He was like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in like Crenshaw and shit. He was like, Rodeo is not in Crenshaw, nigga. He was like, what you talking about? He was like, nah, I'm on like Martin Luther King and Rodeo. He was like, nigga, you on Rodeo, nigga. You you not with me. He's like, Rodeo is upscale right, with the right, white right, people. Right, right. You on Rodeo, nigga. Yeah, so, so yeah, so that, that, was, that was, that shit was funny though. Same street though, right? Nah, it's different, nigga. Oh, it's different? Yeah, so it's Rodeo and then Rodeo is in Beverly Hills. Oh, Ro right. Rodeo, no, is in the hood, though. Oh. Yeah, Rodeo is in the hood. Rodeo is the white people. But it's spelled the same way, though. <laughs> right, right. It's spelled the exact same way. So I was telling niggas, yeah, nah, I live on bro. Rodeo. <laughs> Rodeo, nigga. What you doing out here, nigga? But yeah, so I, I was living on Martin Luther King and, uh, and Rodeo. 
But um, yeah, my lost track. That's again. still that's still uh like the jungles or that's something else. That's still the jungles. They still got that right, right, right in front of the uh, the apartments is the welcome to Baldwin Village shit. Oh, alright, the, sure, the little, sure. you know how they got the little yeah. flaggers and shit. Yeah, yeah it was the welcome to Baldwin Village and shit. But um, I know where you was at. You was talking about you got your own situation in some apartments mm -hmm. called uh, what was they called? Which one? Something with a G. Gloria said, Holmes. Boom. Yeah, there yeah, we go. yeah. Gloria Holmes. So yeah, so I was right there, but um. So I ended up getting an internship at Nick Cannon Spot. I got the internship because, uh, like, once again, I was just on, I think Twitter was going on, it started going on in a minute. And I was like, hey, who's in L.A.? I'm trying to get, I'm trying to. So, all right, Nick, damn, nigga, it's a, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. But, um, so when I first got out there, I was, like, going to, like, the Hollywood stores looking goofy as fuck. <laughs> just like asking niggas, you know, trying try to walk into uh, like like all the all the executive buildings and shit. Like you was pressing. I'm trying to, yeah, yeah. You like I'm trying to, that ain't goofy. Yeah, nigga. You okay, was pressing. yeah, yeah. You was pressing was your pressing, issue. Yeah, you trying to get in, get in where you fit in. Yeah, so I, I'm going into all the buildings and shit. Most of the buildings got security guards and security gates and shit. And they like, nigga, you gotta hit a website or you gotta know somebody to get up in this motherfucker. So I did that for like a week, like week, two weeks, consistently. And then, so I just got on Twitter one day. I was like, hey, who got action in LA? Like, I'm trying to I'm trying to make beats for niggas. I'm trying to get on. I'm trying to get an internship or something. So uh so Gene, who was a barber, he had the he had the shop in the cut right there on Lemon Grove. I would go over there and get my hair cut by uh PBT by Terry. That was working in the shop together. So Gene, he know uh you name the niggas I went to school with. Okay. okay. <laughs> Jojo. Terry, yeah, yeah. SCPA. Okay. Yeah. So um so Gene knew Trey Bug, who's from Dago. He grew up in Emerald Hills. And uh Gene just hit Trey Bug and was like, hey, my little homie, uh, you know, he, he doing beats and shit, trying to get on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You got a spot for him at, at, at Incredible. That's Nick Cannon shit. Mm. He was like, uh, so so I got connected with Trey Bug. He was like, um, I called him. I was like, yeah, I'm from I'm from Dago. Tell him where I grew up at, tell him what I was doing, what I was trying to do. Tell him I was I wasn't even rap I wasn't I wasn't like on oh, rapping and shit. I was like, I'm trying to find an internship, I could work. I was like, nigga, I'm trying to I'm trying to make beats, I'm trying to engineer, record niggas and shit, whatever y'all niggas need to do, man. I'm saying I'm, I'm ready. Right. So he he was like, okay, come to the studio, uh, come to the studio tomorrow. I got a studio session with the Rangers. This was around the time when jer the jerking shit was going on, like the New Boys, Rangers, that whole that whole shit. So he was like, I got a studio session with the Rangers tomorrow. My bad, I'm uh, I'm come uh, come run the session. I'm like, I right, bet. So I go. Run the session, session goes smooth as fuck. You know what I'm saying? A little four hour session. I was already doing that shit at the back cave, doing that shit at my mom's house. So I was like, nigga, it's nothing. I've been doing this shit. Right. Boom, knocked that shit out. Uh met with Trey afterward. He was like, how'd it go? I was like, you know what I'm saying? It's smooth. I do this shit. So he was like, alright, I got another session tomorrow. Come back tomorrow and run that one. So every day, nigga, I came back and was running sessions. And then I, I just, you know what I'm saying? Created a relationship with Trey Bug, and then yeah, I was I was in that motherfucker. I was in that motherfucker uh, about incredible and shit. So then um, and what happens after that? It's hella. It's uh, this nigga Nick. He putting like just like little just group and shit together. He trying to create like this like like Wu Tang type shit. And, and he was like, he he had heard like some of the beats I was making for, for some of his artists and shit. And you know he, he you know seen me around the studio and shit, working and shit, always in that motherfucker. And then uh, Trey had sent uh, Nick some songs and was like, uh, see if see if Ryan be a good fit for what you trying to do and shit. So Trey Trey uh, plugged me in with that shit, and then Nick was fucking with it. So then I was a part of. I, I was like an incredible artist. 
for like a couple, a couple years and shit. And we did hella shit, South by Southwest, That's hella dope. tours. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, hella tours. Went on tour with like E40. Went on tour with Tech Nine. Nigga, we went, we was in like Canada. We went to Kuwait one time, Germany. We did all type of shit. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like you was gonna skip over this part. All I'm, type I'm of glad shit. you got I could, here. I could have, my <laughs> I'm, nigga. I'm, I'm glad you got here because that's shit that people need no, to know. Yeah, I could yeah, have. I didn't know none of this. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I if I didn't have. ask the nigga about the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I could have, bro. Yeah. But yeah, so I was in that. I was in that situation for for like probably shit three three four years maybe three four years and then it just started to it just started to like phase out dealing with Hollywood politics and niggas egos and shit and all type of weirdo shit that I was just like I'm not doing this shit no more I'm not doing this LA shit no more this Hollywood shit so I stopped I, I kind of like stopped going to the studio actually this nigga this nigga like shut the studio down at one point because he Nick had hella uh uh like health problems and shit. So like it, it was one time where he had like a big health scare, he like just shut the whole studio down. So then nigga, I didn't have nowhere to work. The situation was already dying out. So I was just like I was in the jungles, nigga. Right. Posted. Right. Not doing shit. Right, you know asked I mean? out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not doing shit. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? I got it got to a point where I was like, I could not do shit and not be shit at home. So nigga, I'm I'm going back to Dago, nigga. Right. Like straight up. I'm going back to Dago. So then I can I came back to Dago like 2018, I wanna say. 2018. So when, and so when you don't... start blowing up, you was still in LA. You was just coming out here and yeah. shooting these videos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I see. I didn't know that. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, hella, hella. So yeah, cause nigga, I would have uh, thought that you lived in Spring Valley when you was making all that. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, hella. Nah, yeah. We, I was, I was in LA at the time. I didn't move back to Dago until 2018. Mm. 2018. That was after I had put Barely See the Beach one and Barely See the Beach two. Both of them was already out before I moved back to Dago. Yeah. But yeah, but LA though, LA was a good experience though, cause you get a lot of game in LA. It's a whole different, especially putting your, putting yourself in an environment that you ain't don't know nothing about. It's uncomfortable as fuck. Right. And you gotta figure some shit out, and you gotta talk to niggas that you know what I'm saying. You you wouldn't talk to and shit. Right. It just you know what I'm saying. It, it, it just it broadens your you know what I'm saying yourself as a person. But yeah, and and it was like it was crazy too, cause. In LA, I'm doing all these tours and shit, and we was on Wild and Out, performing on Wild and Out, getting flown out to shit, and doing all type of TV shit. I still had to have a nine to five the whole time. Damn. I'm working in warehouses. I'm painting. I used to paint all the dorms at USC and shit. God damn. I'm working on the uh, on the bus routes in LA and shit. I was doing surveying and shit, just counting niggas getting off on and off the bus and shit like that. I'm getting paid like. Nine dollars, nine dollars, you know what I'm saying? Nine, ten dollars and shit an hour. So the whole time I was there, I'm doing all this dope ass shit. But I gotta go home. I gotta get up for work. I gotta get up for work in the morning and so shit. So you couldn't even enjoy what you was doing. Yeah, yeah. And I and then I would get so I would uh I go to work, and then I take like the trolley. I take the trolley or the bus to the studio, and then I take that motherfucker home. Or, you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm, I'm at work, damn near sleep. You know what I'm saying? I go in the bathroom store and take a, you know what I'm saying? Take a nap for like an hour and shit. Niggas like, hey, where, 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 where this nigga at? Like, bro, I'm asleep. Yeah, yeah, so, so yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot going on, cause you know what I'm saying? We wasn't really getting no, I wasn't really getting no money out, out of the, out of the, 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 the label situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't getting no money out of that shit. So that's that's why I had I, niggas still got rent, niggas still got to eat. Well, I did have an EBT though. <laughs> nigga, the EBT was lit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It, it, we it. was getting like four hundred a month on EBT. Nigga, it was snacks on deck. Hell yeah, but it was a struggle though. It was a struggle though. Hell yeah. But it's safe to say you're a go getter, homie. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get cause, to it. Cause doing all of that, homie, especially. 
at a young age. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and, and somehow pulling it off. Cause yeah. you sitting here telling me, I'm like, how the fuck you do all that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like nah. you was doing like three different things at yeah. once. You know what I mean? And making it happen. Yeah. Cause every every day, bro, I go to work and be like, bro, I can't not do this shit. I can't I can't work in a warehouse my whole life, nigga. Like I I don't got. Nah. Nah. Uh. But yeah, I, I can't I can't work in a warehouse. You know what I'm saying? My whole life making ten dollars an hour. Like I know it's something bigger for me out there. I don't know when it's finna come, but I'm not finna stop until I get to that moment. Right. Yeah. So. So yeah. so so you moved back to San Diego in 2018. Yeah. Um. By this time, you a ghetto celebrity. Yeah. You already known everywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. So what's that like moving back to San Diego and you've already had two successful projects yeah. and multiple uh, successful videos by that time? Yeah. What's that like? It's like, nigga, I should have came back sooner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hella, bro, because it's like, it's all love, bro. It's like you going from, you know what I'm saying, like the super struggle back to you still struggling, but niggas love you at the same time though. Right. you get you know what i'm saying you getting love during the struggle instead of just nigga i'm just struggling yeah you know what i'm saying instead of the cold so, shoulder and the struggle yeah right you know what i'm saying it was it was it was inspiring it was inspiring to keep this shit going you know what i mean so yeah moving moving back to dago was the best thing i ever did bro Have now me. you said 2001 you heard trigger racing station yeah what year did you meet Mitchie Slick, and how did y'all collaborate and come about? Uh, I met Slick. I didn't meet Slick till, till I, I didn't meet Slick till LA. I met Slick. Uh, shit, damn near, like a little bit before I shot the Barely See the Beach video, because his part that he's in in that song is actually in LA. Uh, Right, that see, cameo. Now, now I gotta go back and look. Yeah, that cameo. Yeah. That his, he's, his part is just a little alleyway and shit, so it don't, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, his part of the video, we shot that in, in LA. And it's like Slick knew me though before because I was making beats for Ocean. That was like before Ocean was Ocean, he was joking. So Ocean, I actually knew Ocean since we was like probably 15, 16, because he was hella homies with. Uh, the homie Charles, little Charlie. Yeah, Ocean would come over to the house and we'd be on scooters, mashing over here to the swap meet, stealing shoes and shit. And, and uh, mobbing all the way over here and shit. And he was rapping at the time and he would like freestyle and shit. And I, I was like, you know what I'm saying? That shit cool. That shit cool, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really heavily in the music at that point. So I wasn't like, oh yeah, we should work. You know what I mean? But. Yeah, so but then when I when I, uh, when I was like 19, when I really started going with this shit, Ocean was like one of the first niggas to um, to really rap on some of my shit. So I made hella beats for Ocean and hella beats for Gigi, a gang of other niggas too. But those was like probably the main niggas I was making music for. Yeah. But um, I forget what the question. Oh, slick. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, so Slick, Matt Slick in L.A., um, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's when you in L.A. and y'all, the only Dago niggas, there's already like a, you know, a mutual, like, right. like we out here, right. you know what I'm saying, it's love, nigga, we when out you, here when and shit. You, when you connect and hang with that person, you feel like you at home. Yeah, right, yeah, so it's it's already, when you, when you on that Dago car out of town, you know, niggas know what it is and shit, but, uh, but yeah, when I reached out, I reached out to Slick for the, um, so I made the, the You Ain't Ever Been to the Southeast. So I had made that, uh, I had made the beat, and then I had made made the hook and all this shit, right? The You Ain't Ever Been to the Southeast. And I'm naming all the Southeast hoods and shit like that, and Southeast spots and all that different type of shit. And I already knew if I would've did that whole song by myself, it would've been the whole, oh, no, nah, Spring Valley. You know what I'm saying? It would've been that whole shit. It would've been that whole shit. So I was like, nigga, I gotta get Slick on this motherfucker because they not finna say shit to that nigga. So I reached out to Slick and he was fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? I still, I paid him. I paid him because I wasn't, uh, I didn't have the first, that was on the first project. 
So I only had barely seen the beach out. Right. And uh, what's crazy too? Look, barely see the beach and Imperial. We made them songs at the same time in the same studio in LA. Mm. He made that. I was. I was. See, I wouldn't have never known that. He, he was, was in making a, San Diego classics you know what I'm somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. He in the A room with Ocean. I'm in the B room on the other side of the building. And yeah, we both made them songs. Damn near, it was like at the same time and shit. It was the same time and shit. Because I remember going to the back. They, they had a little parking lot in the back. And we was all back there chopping it up. And they got Imperial. Ocean didn't have no verses on it yet. Slick just, uh, it was the beat. Trey Bug did the beat. And Slick did all the hooks. And it's, it, they got that shit slapping loud as fuck, bro. And I was like, this motherfucker is banging. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. So we, we made them songs. Put them songs out around the same time and shit, too. So I didn't really have no pull to be like get a free slick feature. So uh, so yeah, I, I paid the nigga, gave him a couple beats as well, cause I didn't have enough money to pay him. And so and so shit that he wanted. So I was like, nigga, I got some beats for you too. He's like, all right, nigga, come on. So he knocked the song out, and then uh, I remember it was time to shoot the video and shit too. He was kind of pressing me a little bit, cause I didn't pay him his whole shit. I I, I slid him the beats <laughs> and a little bit of bread too. He was like, nigga, so you, so you trying to tell me you getting a Mitchie Slick feature <laughs> <laughs> at a discount, and you want the nigga to come to the video too? Yeah, I'm yeah, like, my yeah. nigga, please, bro, just trust me, my nigga. Like, I promise you, bro, it's not, it's not gonna be a waste of your time, bro. I was like, this shit finna, it, it's finna do numbers, nigga. It's gonna look good for both right, of us. Right, 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 right. It's gonna look good for both of us, nigga. So he like, man, all right, fuck it. So you know what I'm saying? I was like, I, I just need you for 15 minutes. So it was. I think I didn't even meet him the day of that I was shooting. I had to meet him like a couple of days later. And then we uh, he shot his part at the Mario's over there on Division. And then behind uh, behind Bay Vista and shit at the uh, at Lincoln Park over there. But yeah, but, but yeah, ever since then, though, Slick been, uh, Slick been fucking with me. Because he saw, he saw how serious I was about the shit. Right. He know I wasn't, I wasn't just... Trying to do one song and be out, you know what I'm saying? I was like, nah, I'm really trying to build something. So he he right. saw that and respected that. You know? now, now you you got another individual who is the same version of you mm. from another part of San Diego, at least in my opinion. Who's that? Desi Hollow. That's my nigga, bro. He put on for Oceanside like That's how you nigga. did for Spring Valley, homie. Yeah. Shout out to him. I don't know him. Yeah. But shout out to him. Nah, yeah. That's uh, my nigga. Shit. Even hopefully we could, you know, yeah. put something together with him. But yeah. I like the way he represent his section. Yeah. Hella. And I I had reached out to Desi, too. Nigga left me on red, bro. I ain't never brought it up to the nigga, but he left me on red <laughs> like a motherfucker. And then he hit me like a couple of years later. He hit me like a couple of years later. But that's just that's just like cause even now like cause niggas will hit me, right? And I'll be like, you cool, but like, you ain't you ain't this shit. Right, right. <laughs> you know How saying? you supposed to just know this nigga and take his word? Yeah, as right. He reaching like, out yeah, to it's you. like you you ain't this shit. It's like you know what I'm saying. You gotta put in a little bit more, you know, put a little bit more would work you, in. Would you believe me if I told you the same thing happened in this YouTube game? I you bet. know how many people I reached out to? Yeah. And a guy left on scene or they never opened. Yeah. And so far, right now, yeah, they didn't already they double back. back. They double, you know what back. I mean, and yeah. hollered at me yeah. because they see like, oh, he got some motion, yeah, yeah. and then they they go to hit you on Instagram and realize you already yeah. following them and you right. didn't already message them like, hey, what's up? Yeah, YouTube game is the same, yeah. homie. But that's that's you know what I'm saying niggas gotta pay their dues though, and that's right, why I, right, I, right. I never I was never in my feelings about right me either. You know it, what I'm it saying? Because because before I, I was trying to get niggas, you know what I'm saying, to do beats and shit. When I was first starting, but it was the same. I didn't have no name. I didn't. Who right. is this little ass nigga trying to give me some janky little fruity little beats? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Beats probably wasn't even hard. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Years go down, and now I'm putting out. You know what I'm saying? Some quality shit, and I got some action in the in, in the city. Right. And you know what I'm saying? I'm building some shit. Now it's like okay, bet. It's like okay, nigga. Okay, now we could double back with the nigga and all that type of shit. But yeah, but. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of that, but it's, it's part of the game, though. Right. So it's like if if you a young nigga coming up and somebody is like you know keep working and shit. There's no disrespect. Right. It's just like show me a little more. Show, show me some me more consistency. Yeah. Show me 
Yo, yeah, right. That that ain't nothing. Cause a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas will get in the studio for a week and, and feel like they J. Cole. Right. Two weeks later, they not. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. It's like you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You gotta have you gotta and be and dedicated and, and, and to this. And there's people in this YouTube game doing the same thing. You'll see them pop for a while. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they putting out videos once every six months. Yeah. It's like, or you know, if any at all, or they disappear for a year or yeah. two, you got to keep going. Yeah. Me, that's why I've been on it. Yeah, every because day. I actually got a passion for it too. Yeah. Telling our story. No, yeah. They would do that right now. Yeah, hell I'm going to let them pass before I. Yeah, what's up? But yeah, but that's, yeah that's, just, that's just part of the game now. That's, that's, that's part of paying dues and shit. Part of paying dues, hell All right, man, can we get your top five? Top five. Ooh. I'm gonna do top five Dago. Right, that's what I meant. My bad. Okay, yeah, top five Dago. I mean, my top five Dago is probably my top five because I don't really listen to nothing outside of Dago really. I listen to a little bit of LA shit, right. but I don't really listen, listen to nothing outside of that. But uh, yeah, but um, top five. Glad you brought that up because that I swear that was leading me into yeah after this top five. Okay. Yeah, top five. I, I, Mac Fly. <clears throat> That's one. Uh, Slick. Two. I'm going to have to go Deep Moss. Three. And heavy hitting. Uh, shit, four and five. Googie. Four. That's my nigga. That nigga, that nigga slept on so, so tough, bro. I swear Googie is so slept on, but he up there. Shit, five. Think about it. Don't rush it. Don't rush it, homie. Damn, five, bro. I don't know, bro. That's tough. That's tough because, like, because now I'm thinking about, like, all type of shit, right? Because, damn, niggas was gassing on, like, because it could be, like, it could be Boss Hog. It could be, it could be Tiny O. It could be. Long number five be all of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Even hell. though I, I thought you was gonna say yourself. Yeah. Oh no. I just I just kept yeah. I kept yeah, I kept yeah, me yeah. out of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm right. just saying I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna put somebody else gotta put me in that motherfucker. Right. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put myself in it. But nah, yeah. All right. Well, you you mentioned it. Yeah. And I promise you, to me, you the nip of San Diego. To a lot of people. I, I hear that. I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. And yeah, I, that's I, that's I, that's that ain't no cap. That's one hundred percent. Yeah. Like yeah. that's when I see how you push and how you your movement. Yeah. To me, that's Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. Um. Now, yeah, hella, hella people tell me that shit. Nip, he was like, you know what I'm saying. Outside of Dago, he's in my top five. Uh, yeah, bro, that nigga's a major inspiration. A major inspiration, bro, to to a lot of how what I do, and you know, especially the branding side of it. Right. Especially the branding side. Man, and that's what I was about to get to next, man. Yeah. Let the people know what you' rocking right now. Now, yeah, barely see the beach, man. This it start it started as music. It the it the when it's, it's a whole it's like a whole movement now. It's a whole brand. This, this shit is it's a culture yeah bro it's it's a culture with a uh emphasis on cult because you got yeah, like yeah. a cult like following okay, out here. yeah i watch yeah. your stories and just all day every day is people nah, yeah. Hell rocking up, your stuff on me and yeah they oh, rocking yeah. and stuff oh, hey look oh yeah 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 he pulled up in lemon grove to sell me a sweater and what what was the female? She said some crazy <laughs> shit out the window. We didn't even know who she was. Yeah. Is that Ryan Anthony? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah man. Uh, yeah. Can, can you show the back of it, man? Can yeah, you, can the you barely, show us what yeah, you got the going barely on see in the, the beach, van? You know what I'm saying? The San Diego legend. Everything got the barely see the beach on the back. You know what I'm saying? We got like Dago University shit. This is like San Diego Clippers clips. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still out the trunk with this shit, too. Right, grind. That's, where, that's, that's really where the, I, I want to say the cult life following comes from, bro. It's because I'm still... It's because you pulling up right personally. Here. Yeah. They get to meet you. Yeah. So they're like, damn, I'm going to buy a sweater or two or however yeah. many they got to buy for you to pull yeah, up. Yeah, bro. You pull up and... Yeah. 
It's like his it's, whole Instagram story be him and people yeah. who are fans and yeah. supporters of his, oh. and that's what I'm saying. You a man of the community, yeah, homie, and I salute you 100. Yeah. percent I'm very, I'm very much outside. I'm very much community driven with the shit. Cause like I said in the beginning, barely see the beach is about all the all all the dago. Right. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I felt like at at a, at a point in time, like a lot of niggas I was rapping was going hard for that hood. But wasn't too many people like, oh, I'm from Dago as a whole and shit. So I'm like, nigga, we gonna, I'm going to change that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to change I'm a, that. I'm going to tell you the two people who do it. You and Lil Weirdo. Yeah. And shout out to Lil Weirdo. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, y'all really press that Dago line on oh, yeah. me. Yeah, hell I'm doing it more so on YouTube. Yeah. I always wanted to put the city on the map. But me being a gang member, my hood always came first. Right. I'm yeah. from 40s everywhere I go. Yeah. But yeah. I find myself more and more with people in my comments saying weird shit, mm -hmm. pressing that Dago line a lot more harder. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Yeah. that's why I always my hats off to you and him and everybody else out the city doing their thing, whether I rock with you personally or not. Yeah. Whether you from somewhere I don't like or not, if you right. putting this motherfucker on the map and you yeah. making it look good, my hats off to you. I mean, I won't slap the shit out of you when I see you. <laughs> I'm just playing. These are jokes, SDPD. But I'm just saying, homie. Yeah. Salute to everybody yeah. putting this motherfucker on the map. Homie. No, yeah. Hella. Hella, bro. And it's crazy that you just said SDPD, bro, because <laughs> check this out, bro. I did. I was doing a, it was like a Belly City Beach. Uh, I forget what they called it. Like Belly City Beach celebration and shit, right? Right. Because all of my videos got niggas from everywhere. All the essays, some of the Asian niggas, all the different hoods and shit. SDPD, bro, they they tried to shut my shit down and, and was acting like I was like a gang leader or something. Real shit fast, like that. real fast. Not to cut you off. Yeah. I want people to understand how foul and scandalous our police department is and always has been. Yeah. This this is just a glimpse of what yeah. we go through on the day to day they, with these dudes. Go ahead. They bro. shut down all the inner city culture, bro. Like they don't want the they don't want the inner city culture on display like at all. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people don't know about Dago because like you said, the inner city, yeah. the, the the crime, this is a tourist place. Yeah. They try to act like it don't exist. If yeah. you look up a map of San Diego right now, you're not gonna see none of this shit. Right. Yeah. None of it. They 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 try to hide that so much. Yeah. They've been very successful historically. That's why when people say you from San Diego? All y'all got is the zoo and beaches yeah, and Legoland yeah, yeah. and SeaWorld and all this weird ass shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, I got probably more dead homies than you. Right. Yeah. I got niggas doing life just like you. Nah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah they shut nah, your yeah, shit that's down. Fact. But that, yeah. They didn't, they didn't shut it down, but I had to go through. They tried to shut it down. Try to tried to paint me to be this 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 gang leader. This it's like, I'm like, nigga, that is insane because if you're watching the videos I'm, I'm uplifting niggas and, and, and you know what I'm saying it's like bringing niggas together type shit as, as, right. you know what I'm saying and they try to make it like I was dividing niggas or some shit but they was like they was scared like oh he gonna bring out all, all, all the it was, some, it was just some bullshit bro right. and I had to go through hella hoops to still do the shit and we had to get on the phone with the fucking uh, chief of police some shit it was like it, it was like have me do hella extra shit for and they're not for, doing that in these other cities nah. homie. and that's and that's why people can be a little more free and get away with a lot more san diego yeah they, it's they not playing that slick then said it on what no jumper and the yeah. gang of different interviews yeah now nah, you're yeah. saying it i've been saying it they don't play that here but somehow we still do what we do we still surviving homie yeah and, and that and that's the thing yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. But it's like, but, you know what I'm saying? It comes with it. It comes with it. But it's some bullshit that we got to deal with. But, you know, it's all part of it. All, all part right. of the story, my nigga. Yeah, all part of the story. All right, man. It's 2023, man. Let the people know what you got going on this year, as of this moment, what you got planned for the future. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm real heavily with the merchandise and shit right now. Really heavily with, with scaling the shit up, scaling that part of the business up. Uh, still got, still got some music and shit I'm working on. Um, yeah, bro, the same shit I've been doing, bro. Just maximizing that shit. 
you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like to switch up. I ain't gonna switch up a good recipe. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We just gonna make more of what hey, what man, niggas I is I like. I don't think any of these successful franchises, whether it be McDonald's, KFC, I don't think they nah. switched it up. Yeah, nah. As far as their original stuff, they might right. add stuff, take stuff. Yeah. But the nah, main same. thing that fun, that founded that business yeah. is still there, homie. Yeah, and that's yeah. why they're as successful. Yeah. That the saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's true. Don't homie. fix it. So yeah, so it's just uh, I'm still still out here, still in the community, still doing backpack giveaways and toy drives and, and you know what I'm saying, helping out whoever I can, whenever I can, and shit. Pushing this pushing this brand shit. Pushing this brand, barely see the beach. Yeah. Definitely. Well, man, I appreciate you for coming through, man. It didn't got dark on us. Yeah. I can still see you, but. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. You already know, man. Anytime you want to come back on the platform or if you need me for anything, Hell yeah. it's all love, homie. Keep doing your thing for yeah. the section. And by the section, I mean this whole 619 858 760. You know what I mean? Yeah, all of it. So, all yeah, San man. Diego. Hey, come on. We pushing. Shout out Hoodie Hood. This nigga finna be the biggest thing though. Oh god, bro. I've been tapped into your man. shit. I've been tapped into your shit. Um well, I saw I saw your like street TV shit. And then I seen you started your own channel probably like a year, two years ago, maybe. I yeah, I've been August of uh, 2021. So yeah, so I've been yeah, I've been I've been tapped in, bro, since you know, quietly. You know what I'm saying? We ain't we ain't like connect right. like that for, except for like a couple months ago and shit, but right. So I know that I had no idea. Yeah. When I when I when I reached out for a sweater, yeah. I didn't even know you knew who I was. Yeah. I was just trying to grab one because I've right. been rocking with it. You know what yeah. I mean? As far as your push. Right. Nah, yeah. So it's like that that's the thing too. You never know who you know what I'm saying, you never know who watching this shit and shit mm -hmm. is. So it's like just keep that shit going, stay on whatever the fuck it is you doing. And shit, nigga, it's gonna it's gonna expand and, and, and explode. And I'm glad explode. you just said that because I almost uh yeah, I almost went left the other day on some shit, but yeah. I had to remind myself you never know who watching, right? And that's what stopped me. Yeah. And I'm not even talking about the video I put out yesterday with that dude. Yeah. I'm talking about something totally different, right? So yeah, man, yeah. I appreciate you for coming through. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you for rapping for the section how you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything you got going on, uh, promote your Instagram. Spring Valley Ryan, hit me up on Instagram. You want some hoodies? Shoot me your address. I'm going to pull up on you if I got the time, if I'm in motion that day. And if they uh, in I'll different cities and states, do you mail yeah, them? BarelySeeTheBeach.com. We, sh we, sh we shipping out, bro, hella orders, bro, a day. It's right. like, it's, it's it's really a blessing what 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 we built, what we become. It sound like the homie don't need a rapper. It sound like what, these. What we mean to <laughs> It sound like he Now, nah, look, so, like, people hit me up all the time, like, when the music coming, when the music coming, I'm like... Bro, the bag is not at the music right, right now. Right, right, you know what right, I'm saying? right. Yeah. The bag ain't at the music right now. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that. I do got music and I still, you know what I'm saying, every right. now and again, still writing and shit. But it's like right now, it's like we trying to we trying to explode even oh, more so level. than what than more more so than what we already have. You know what I'm saying? So And real fast before I end this, Thomas Tyrell. What's up, homie? Yeah. I'll have my boy right here. Yeah, tap in with me, man. Yeah, I didn't tap even know in. that. Yeah. I didn't I, I would have swore up and down that y'all had already worked together. Yeah, nah, we ain't even we ain't even worked. So look, actually RIP my boy Luke Emmett. That's who was shooting all of my videos. He just he just passed uh in January. So Thomas was shooting everybody videos and shit out here, but I was I was already locked in with my boy Luke. So R RIP to the homie. But uh, yeah, Thomas. We for sure gotta, for sure gotta uh, lock in up. Uh, Hell it. Show, sure, homie. All right, man. And with that being said, Hillam Gang, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another conversation with a legendary figure. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit him up on on uh, IG. I'll add him for the for the merch. And yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. I'll add y'all.